Hi, um, this video is going to be sort of an overview or just sort of checking out the differences between uh, Facebook sort of business pages, how to manage your pages, and also the Facebook business manager, which is probably more for agencies who manage a number of Facebook pages for clients uh, who are running ads and, and such. So this sort of keeps everything sort of separate and organize it. Uh, more sort of out of that one ad account it says here which basically is what happens when you create a page in Facebook so for example Facebook your business if you create a page you may be familiar with this uh, where you do create a page and you can see that I have a number of uh, pages test pages and other pages for clients set up here um, but I think this business manager takes it one step further so I'm just going to create an account, um, business names, manage your ad accounts, pages, request access, organize, streamline your advertising effort. Now it says the name of the business you work for, like the ad agency or uh, company, for example. So this is like a company or agency that, the overreaching agency that uh, takes care of all these Facebook pages. So I'll just put... Uh, Okay. Nothing from your personal Facebook will show in business to our 362 employees. That's fine, whatever. Okay, Vintage Business Manager Setup Guide. If you need more than one ad account, basically it's request access to pages or ad accounts. Set up a primary page for your business. Yes, it's already done. Request access to the pages or ad accounts you'll need to work with in Business Manager. Okay, we'll try first thing. The first thing I want to do is I don't really care about ad accounts, but I just want to claim the pages. Let's see how these things work. So claiming a page that your business already owns. Okay, I'm going to just try this one. I don't know if that's correct. That's a community. That should work. Since you're already the page admin of this page, your, your request has been approved automatically. Okay, that's fine. So now I have a page in here that I have used, sort of, it's in under my account here. If we go see more, uh, it's this one here. And now it's inside this business manager. Anyway, let's just take a look at, see what it does here. So yeah, things look a little bit different up here than it does here. Uh, business tour is the main one. That's me. This is one of my businesses. Assign people. Ad accounts. Add, do, do, do. I don't really see. There's not much for managing it, I guess. Maybe here. Manage page. Yeah. Well, I guess I could write something on it as a manager and things like that under this account so that's it yeah I can I can <clears throat> so this is it I, I, I'm managing his business tour but I'm managing the Luna beam uh, one and I can write something on their their timeline here or whatever through the the business manager now if I go back to business manager and as I'm a page admin let's just remove this from my account are you sure you want to remove this page you won't have access to bin it, bin it in business manager that's fine so I don't have any pages to manage in this business manager, but I'm sure it's still here. Yeah, it's still I can still manage it under my normal, my personal account, write something here, etc. So long as you have access to it on your in your personal account, the business manager really isn't to do much more unless you are truly a, an agency managing these pages for your clients. That's a great test I've done with this this business tour manager thing. I don't really think I'm going to be using it. It's not really within my needs. My clients, I basically set up their ads through their own accounts and then have them pay on their own and then just build them for the setup. So let's see how we can get rid of this. Welcome to business manager. Um, ba -ba -ba, business manager setup guide, maybe? 
Request access, create new. Let's just get out of here. Business info, maybe. There we go. So under business info, we can permanently delete this business. So I do have a business tour 360 in my accounts here. Here it is right here. It's sort of my main Facebook, uh, you know, page is all filled out. There's lots of stuff on here. Let's see what happens if I do permanent delete it from the business manager, not Facebook, my business, but the business manager. So do you want to delete your business? Yes. If you permanently delete your business, all assets, ad accounts, pages, and product catalogs are removed from your business. Hmm. So we're going to find out how this is linked to my personal account and see if it totally destroys that as well. You, if you'll continue to have min rights to all associated with this business through your Facebook account, which is what, which is should be normal, but you'll lose access granted to you by other businesses. Uh, yes. Okay. So if they granted me permission through this business manager, I will lose access to their business. They'll have to re, uh, I'll have to request access through my personal uh, Facebook page. And anyone who works at Access in this business will keep their access. So if you've added managers with admin rights to through this business manager, they'll, they'll be able to keep the business manager. So if that's a problem, you may want to talk to them and have them delete it as well. So I understand this and I can't uh, reactivate this. So let's confirm this. Oh, for your security. This is basically protecting you from yourself. Now, if I can remember my password, I'm not even sure if that's it. Yep, Use your business has been deleted. Use Facebook to access your pages and ad accounts. Okay, so now my business was Business Tour 360. Let's see if they've deleted it. Nope, it's perfectly fine. So. I still have access to my my business page through my personal Facebook account. So that's great. So that was basically a tour of uh, the Facebook business manager for agencies. Uh, you probably don't need this if you're just a single business. This is much more for people with multiple businesses that bill separately for, for ads. Uh, or have to have complicated admin rights settings that are not available in your personal account. All right, so uh, have a good day. Hope that was helpful.